welcome this is the energy vibration reading for all sun moon and rising sun sorry um this is a wonderful wonderful month for you Sagittarius this is just so powerful it's all about the money okay the wheel of fortune is bringing you um okay first um thank you thank you for being here thank you for being back i am so happy that i am here another month giving these energy vibration reading and it's going to be a wonderful performance it's all about the money in this month the energy vibration is so strong with the money your spiritual um guidance and uh, the universal angels the intergalactic beams the cosmic uh, family are coming in and the spirit world the night dimension of beings uh, the unicorns the dolphin um, the fairies and all of that is coming in to support you in your endeavor whatever it is in this week in this month because it's a positive month it's the best reading so far and i don't know what it is but for you sagittarians i am always having this positive profound reading whatsoever is going on here so this is going to be extremely positive extremely powerful you're working with a crown chakra so you're connecting with source so call upon Archangel Metatron in this month Archangel Metatron comes in and touch open and activate your uh, crown chakra and you will feel and get the information on your spirit guides uh, and angels and guides will support you by um, um, uh, sending you information this is a wonderful profound reading you have the ten of Pentacles and the ace of Pentacles the ace of swords and the wheel of fortune isn't that the most beautiful beautiful reading yes it is it's all about the money in this month we have four weeks in this month and the energy vibration of july is the energy of the star and you guys have really manifest a lot of money and this is going to be a very wonderful month for you sagittarians okay the energy of the star is the color of blue and the star brings the zodiac energies of the water and the fire so you are a fire sign and in the last two weeks your own energy vibration is in the last two weeks and it's bringing out the ace of pentacles so for a lot of people who have their business the third and last week is going to be a positive positive week this whole four entire week is actually positive but the third week is going to be your most positive week of all okay i want to say to each and every person please remember to listen to the general readings and please listen to your sun moon and rising sign remember you need to listen to these other readings so that you can have and a, a forecast of what is going to happen um for you guys okay we are going to begin with the reading and the first week that we have here um, um i should say whatsoever is going on whoever was stealing from you this sort of energy it's going to come to an end okay so the first week we have the crown chakra the crown chakra is always a meter above your head the angels that work in your crown chakra is archangel metatron it is going to be a wonderful perform time because you sagittarians are uh, one of the most um um, um luckiest uh, person on this planet and you are working with a planet of jupiter but the crown chakra is coming up in this month so you need to work the whole week not only the first week but every week you're going to call up a, every day you're going to call upon Archangel Metatron to touch open and activate your crown chakra ask him to place the orange coat of protection around you ask the energies of your crown chakra crystalline and all these energies these angels to touch open and activate your crown chakra but also act, act to activate all the rest of your 12 chakras when your crown chakra is open you're connected with the source of all things and all the universal angels the next card that we have is forgiveness you need to forgive forgive the people to um uh who have hurt you and whatever they have done um, by opening up your crown chakras your angels and guides and the spirit world and the unseen world will help you to heal yourself of forgiveness so forgive the people that have done you wrong and realize that the universe is sending you the wheel of fortune and you are about to see 
money coming in your life like never ever before the ten of Pentacles and the ace of Pentacles so by healing whatsoever had happened you are going to see money coming in your life as if by out magic okay so congratulations you Sagittarians whoever that has tried to steal something from you and it is um, your birthright whoever tried to steal your birthright whoever tried to steal that which the universe had placed in your blueprint you are going to realize that in this month all what was stolen from you will return to you you Sagittarian so this is going to be a wonderful perform month a seriously wonderful month for you Sagittarius so for the people who have been having situation where people have stolen from them it's there is an end there is an end and there's a new beginning coming in in the second week this new beginning is the air of uh, the air energy this is a positive energy whenever the air energy comes in because um, uh, the first week is also here and the second week is also a new beginning for you Sagittarius so whatsoever that has happened even if uh, there is nothing significant that has happened in your life you're getting a new beginning a new beginning and this can be the connection with your spirit guides the galactic and beings and the cosmic family who is coming in to help you okay new beginnings wonderful new beginnings for you Sagittarians as we go forward we have having the energy vibration of complacency complacency so you're here thinking where you should go and um, what is your next move and uh, you are about to realize that a huge amount of financial abundance is going to come in your life and uh, um, um, important people and good friends are going to help you um, to achieve this and with complacency you're going to realize that the universe is about to bless you with a ten of Pentacles a whole lot of money and this has to do with people who really have respect for you and people who really help you and people um, who are going to support your business so it's going to affect each and every one of you Sagittarians in different way so it's going to be people who have you know walked the journey you have walked and people who have seen you grow in all these years and new people business uh, people are going to come in and help you a wonderful energy vibration is going to come in for giving you a new beginnings for you Sagittarius good friends are going to be there with you and new people good people are going to come into your life to heal your financial situation this is a very wonderful reading as we look forward and we're looking at the third week which is your best best week the third week and you also have the number one and the number seven number one and seven is the star but number one is a new beginning and number seven is that you're on the right part so this is just so profoundly wonderful um, we have the energy of authority and this is good whatever the situation is with the energy of authority you are having grief so whatever has happened um, someone has done something in our charity position and you're going to have a little grief in the third week but yet still this grief is of the past it's not of now it's of the past it was a situation that someone in our charity had done to you and you had grief and then this grief is going to be healed in this third week this grief is going to be healed in this third week because what is happening is that uh, um, the energy of the ace of Pentacles the energy of the ace of Pentacles so good news is coming in about money the pen uh, you know might need out what was the grief it doesn't really matter what was the grief the universal angels and whoever this authority figure was the universal angels is going to bring you back whatever that was lost okay so this is a very wonderful um, thing there is a situation because an authority degree at our charity figure or somebody in our charity had done something that was very wrong that has given you grief and whatever that was you need to forgive so forgiveness came up in the first week where you should open your um, crown chakra and to ask for forgiveness in the third week um, an authority figure had given you grief but yet still uh, whatever it is uh, good news is about to come about money it's the energy vibration of uh, the number 
um, one energy which is new and it's going to be a newness in your financial situation so whatsoever that has happening um, as affect your financial um, situation there is a personal message of good um, a message is coming in and um, this good news that is coming in is that a money arriving financial progress and important um, a document so this is going to be extremely positive and this is going to be extremely good for the third week so you know this is a really 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 um good because you're going to see for you Sagittarians that a lot of things are going to change in your life and these things that are going to change in your life is for um, positive uh, they're going to be extremely positive so um, it's, it's, it's going to be wonderful in the sense that um, you're going to find out that wonderful new experiences are going to come into your life so this is going to be um, a good um, sort of uh, energy that is going to um, play a role in your life okay so um, again uh, be aware of whatever is going on because somehow there is a situation that has been playing out in your life but yet still it's going to be balanced in this um, third week and it's all about money and um, there is a situation some authority figure had done something and you had grief and now it is uh, now changing as we move on and we look at the fourth week the fourth week is awareness is the week of awareness the fourth week is the week of the magician so the magician is coming here there is another situation with the the crown chakra the magician is coming in another situation with a crown chakra whatever the situation is with the crown chakra you are seeing healing coming in you're accepting this healing um, you're working with your spirit guides and the unseen world and you are being aware that they are here and they are here to protect you and guide you and this is going to be extremely good because you open up to the energies of them and when you call upon them and open up to the energies all you have to do is call upon the unicorns uh, the fairies uh, unicorns and the fairies always help you with your financial problem and the angels of abundance and financial abundance and they always come in and help you to heal your financial situation the next energy that you have is impasse impasse and this is what they're saying and if you look at all these energies and these cards that I'm using they are all connecting with the psychic and also with the unseen world so what this is doing is that I'm using layers and layers because there are more beams that are coming in to um, deliver their message to you Sagittarians and all the rest of the zodiac energies in this month and they're saying impasse impasse is the sense that with awareness you will cry you will receive impasse and with the impasse there is going to you know there's a lot of people who are talking about certain aspects and certain things but with impasse you are seeing that the ace of sword is here and the ace of sword mean it's a victorious win and success it's victory over your enemies and adversity you are raising from the pressures of uh, the negative energies that has been blocking you you use the sword to cut away that which no longer serve you and you're realizing that you have been victorious there is something that i need you guys to see there is there is um there is wonderful things um whatever is happening people with um, money the connection with money friends with money are going to help you um the situation that has been going on in your life uh, friends with money people are coming in whoever what that was stealing from you um this is no longer um going to be a significant role what i want you to to see and this is the energies that have been working you have for forgiveness compliance grief and impasse okay so you need to let go of the grief whenever you let go of the grief you are going to see the wheel of fortune is going to bring you the ten of pentacles and with the ten of pentacles the ace of pentacles and you begin to your financial situation and you are victoriously successful over the negative energies and the adversity of people who were trying to steal from you the sword came out and you use the sword in a good way because by using the sword in a good way the wheel of fortune comes out 
bring in the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles and then the ace of pentacles and you have the ace of swords this is a wonderful beautiful energies use the energies in this month the last week you are going to cut with the sword the first week the we the first week you have the wheel of pentacles the first week you have forgiveness and the wheel of pentacles in the first week so again in the first week these are messages that I need to give the first week you have forgiveness and the wheel of pentacles that means the universal angels are coming up to bring you what was stolen from you in the first week so you need to have forgiveness to whoever have done you wrong in the second week we have a contents contingency and uh, um, the ten of pentacles of second week contingency and the ten of pentacles which you're complain compensating you're co you're thinking about what directions you should go you have the ten of pentacles you're iran iran um this the ten of pentacles is always um inheritance which is coming in as we look forward um we have grief but this grief is compensating with the ace of pentacles which is a new um healing to your financial situation and this is um is is, is the situation where um the energy of uh, um, uh, somebody in authority had done you something that was unjust, and now the injustice is now um, being healed. And again, you have uh, impasse in the last week and the Ace of Sword. So you have stand up for your right, and you have gotten. And this shows you by standing up for your right, you have gotten um, justice, and this is good okay wonderful 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 it is wonderful for you guys i love doing readings for you sagittarius because you sagittarians always bring out certain aspect of readings that i love because um somehow you're always having these wonderful positive energies let's look at what the love energies is for the sagittarius in the month of july let's look and see what is the love energies for the sagittarius oh my god oh my gosh oh my god oh my god oh my god it's a love energy so i have to think about the love energies okay wow beautiful dharmas and uh, ladies and gentlemen this is a wonderful energy for you sagittarius the wheel of fortune is going to bring you connection with your soulmate and twin feel in the first week so with the energy of love your soulmate uh, most of you are going to connect with your soulmate and your twin flame in the first week expect for the love energies that you connect with your um your soulmate and uh, twin flame re um, relationships in the first week in the second week another wonderful connection with soulmate energies cosmic families and that sort of a thing it's going to be brilliant so sometimes people don't not meet their soulmate and twin flame but they do meet their cosmic family and these are the people that they have a relationship with because they need to heal certain aspect of the relationship so some of you will meet your cosmic family and connect in the second week in the third week which is wonderful um, some of you are going to connect with the energy vibration of a um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn some of you are going to connect with the energy vibration of a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and um, the women are going to connect with a man and vice versa and this is going to be good this is going to be an extreme balanced relationship and this relationship is going to affect you because uh, it is going to be a solid relationship with everything in balance it's going to be a relationship where nothing is out of balance uh, money is good sex is good um, so the togetherness uh, conversation everything is in balance so this is wonderful in the third week and the third week is your best week your numbers again is one and seven as we look forward to the fourth week um, the fourth week you are seeing the energies vibration of money 
okay money is coming in to you guys whatever the situation is money is coming into you guys it's going to be a positive positive whatever that was stolen to you is being returned so money is going to your your focus in love is all about money in the fourth week actually we're not supposed to do that as you guys know that we cannot focus we can manifest and we can see it all around us but we're not supposed to focus our own focus on money but it is still going to come into this week for you guys this is just wonderful brilliant um the 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 the, the month is such a profound wonderful month it's as if you Sagittarians has gone through so much in your life and now you are changing your old prospect you're changing your own beam okay so money work is going to be um, in, in the third week it's going to open up um, a new work um, a grief over something that you have lost a work never grieve over a work that you have lost and you had to leave behind because it was time for you to do that okay as we go on and we looked at the fire sign whoever um, is born underneath the fire sign of the Sagittarians you're also the energy vibration of the fire you be working you Sagittarians will be working with the the Pisces people you Sagittarians will be working with the Pisces people in this month but the Pisces people they're the water people they're the intuition people by working with the Pisces people you are going to change your career because you have the energy vibration of Mars working also with you and well, the Pisces um, um, with Mars is intuition and ways who you can um, uh, you know it's as if they're leading you and pushing you to change your career feel whatever your career feel is some people are going to have the feelings of changing their career feel some people are going to be connecting with um, um, Pisces people who could be their bosses or who could be working together with them um, you know side by side so uh, this is a wonderful energies for you um, Sun people so again for the Sun people You'll be working with the Pisces and the Mars people. Pisces and Mars. Okay, so this is going to be a good, good, good time for you guys. As we look forward, we have the energy vibration of um, the moon and energy vibration of the moon. We have the Aquarians working with us because the energy vibration of the moon brings in the Aquarians and also the planet of Pluto. When Pluto come to aggress you or to address you, there is changes that is going to happen. Pluto is coming with the Aquarians to make you adjust and make you um, have certain changes in your life because you need to, to adjust certain things and have certain changes been done in your life. So whenever the energy of the moon, uh, the people who were born under the sign of the moon coming up with the energies of the Aquarians, that means... Uh, changes are coming in your life you need to look at what the changes are um, going to be and you need to accept them okay because here is the changes of money Pluto is not Pluto is a planet where you are seeing a certain aspect and certain energies coming up and I want to elaborate on that because I'm getting it from my guys and angels that I should uh, elaborate on that because Pluto as one of those special planets I find it to be one of those special planet that it's very important for your spiritual growth but also for other things in your life and whenever Pluto comes um, uh, bring the energy vibration and you have to work with Pluto and you know you are a Sagittarian because you are a fire sign and you're working with Pluto it is very very important that there is a message its journey to a place where you will be reborn okay so working with Pluto you moon people and this is this is so big. thanks to my angels and God because this is important because this I have been given everyone and I've been letting everyone know that the universal beams the cosmic families are coming in and here is Pluto working with you moon Sagittarians and it's Pluto is here um, bringing you 
uh, to a place it's taking you on a journey to where you will be reborn so this is good because what is happening is that they're helping you to reborn um, and deal with certain aspects and deal with certain situations in your life uh, and can learn to connect with the unseen world so this is just wonderful thanks to my guides and angels for you know bringing forward that message your last and final card let's see what you have and you have determinations oh my god determinations this is wonderful i have not seen um determinations um it is it assists with the spirituality discipline determination spirituality discipline transformation and willpower so your spiritual discipline transformation and willpower this is a wonderful 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 um, situation that is going to happen for you guys so this is going to be extremely good so you know be positive hold on to this energy because this energy is going to help you your focus is my sense of uh, um, positive determination arising from within so your focus is that yourself your sense of positive determination arise from within again your sense of determination um, arise from within and this I am leaving you with this wonderful beautiful messages and I'm asking each and every person to use the energy vibration in this uh, month of July to make sure that you are financial balance and I'm saying namaste until next month